Thomas. Very good. AJ George says, awesome setup. Big fan. Thanks, AJ. Hope you're enjoying the show. Make sure you guys are hitting that like and share button. We want to let people know all over the world that this nonsense is happening in Ontario. This is Behind the Bunkers live coverage of the Ontario Paintball League here at Beautiful Flaggers Paintball. Brought to you by DLX, manufacturers of the Lux Paintball Marker. Guys, you're watching Wasaga in yellow and Attrition in orange. Attrition had some great moves up the field but got taken out as soon as they stepped over that 50. Wasaga yeah. said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, Wasaga lost the body off the break too. They lost their guy going right to the snake. So it looks like the uh, attrition player is going to make his move. You can see him in the 50-yard line almost. Oh, nice bump out. Wasaga went to both corners on that. Attrition losing a body out of the Doritos. Right, so attrition with, it looks like a three on two, I believe. Looks like attrition has two guys, or sorry, three guys left. One in the snake that you can see on your screen. Another guy in the 50 brick on the right side. So decent field position, whereas Wasaga Beach players running around in the backfield. You can see him on the far left side in that can. Just trying to hold this snake guy down from going anywhere. Oh, and the snake oh, guy gets picked up in the loader, so that's a, did. that's a bad death. Well done with Saga player standing up behind a can. And the Wasaga player fills all the way to the corner and picks attrition up another body. Attrition losing their other player. We're down to one attrition and, player left. And nobody saw him make that move. Oh, but now the last player sees him. Oh. Oh, and he gets picked up. Player number 13 from Wasaga. Did you see what goggle he was using? Yes. I, Brand I, new Extreme Rage 2020. Brand new Extreme Rage. <laughs> Good for him. I, I wanted to ask him. Uh, I was like, did you did you buy those on, on purpose because they're vintage or you just had them, you know, in, in the basement? Now, you can see out there that there are two slightly different shades of pink. One is a higher grade. So the higher grade is the more uh, 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 definitely pink fill. The other one has a little bit more of a watered down fill to it, but both. Uh, staining pretty well today. Oh, why, Saga, why did you leave your bunker? Yeah, he gets picked the up. The attrition so. player wins that one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, that, that, that was, was a two-on-one. That was a two-on-one. That yeah. was a two-on-one. Wow, so, Can so, we find out who so that attrition star. player is? Yeah, gold star for that guy. Maybe a little zoom in. There we go. Nice job. Well done, attrition player. Bacon off some backs. <laughs> Hashtag violence. Nice. <laughs> Boy, thanks for playing along. So attrition will be on the left side of your screen, and Wasaga. Yeah, or so Wasagaba. Wasaga. I Wasaga guess it's Wasaga, Wasaga Boys. We Saga Beach Boys is what it should be. Yeah, so there's attrition on your screen. Wasaga on the right. One nothing, so the, oh, the score on the screen stopped. is correct. Time has stopped. Oh, they're fixing a bunker here. Oh, that's that's referee. Kevin yeah. Shanina making it happen. But I'm telling Putting you, all the you, work. You're not, you know what you're not hearing is a leaf blower, ladies and gentlemen. Because these are air up bunkers. You don't need a leaf blower. The only thing you need to do is burp them now and again because they, they, the, uh, the air temperature creeps up when the sun comes out and in inflates them even more. Oh, there you go. So here comes the breakout. Attrition going to the snake off the break. And, and the second Dorito spot, so pretty aggressive breakout from Attrition. Wasaga Beach Boys lose the player out of the back, but quickly fill up the center right away. And does it get picked up? Yeah, it gets picked up, so not looking good here for Wasaga. They, they lose two pretty early. It's hard to see that Wasaga player leaving the field with his green pants. That's right, green pants and bright yellow jersey. I can barely see him. I can barely see him. Back when I used to compete heavily, we started off with yellow. And we never thought it was an issue. We wore yellow for years. I still don't think it's an issue. I think it's a great color out there. You played? I played. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I made nine years of a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Attrition in Snake 2, looking for some shots, but not really finding anything. He's going to have to, oh, we're having some issues. What fell off his gun? What is he missing? What fell? Oh, it's his tank cover had fallen off. Oh. Tank yeah. covers are not something that belongs to your gun so that if it fell off, it wouldn't be an issue in the rule, right? right yes. Correct. All right, here comes attrition. Nice. Yeah. Nicely played. So that's going to take uh, attrition up a point. Brian McKenna, that was. That was the Cambridge Raiders. And I'm sharing. You better share. Share, share, share. <laughs> like, like, like. Win, win, win. There we go. Oh, Wasaga getting a lot of paint on him. Well, in the, the snake, snake off the brakes. I, I think he got there. 
Yeah, he's clean. I know he's 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 really pushing it. You know, they got seven minutes on the clock. It's the most important thing is is, is winning this point. So and that's so player seven, right. Caston. Yeah, Mr. Caston, looking cross field. Might have picked up a body. Ref's going in to oh, check that. Oh, look at attrition. Attrition running out. Caston's going to have to play a little bit tighter in that snake now that he's got uh, someone on his wire. Yeah. Is he in a good spot right now? I'd say he's in a pretty good spot. He, he's just got to he's he just gotta be careful there. Yeah, but that W's blocking him out too. Oh, it's oh. a good thing though when you're that far, right? There he's you protected. go. So his tape is done. Attrition trying to fill back on home. Caston not seeing him there. He's going to get... Oh... Come on, Caston, wrap around the outside and shoot home. Home knows you're there now. Attrition oh, losing another body. And he's going to get a penalty. Attrition a penalty. filling out. He shouldn't have left. Caston got duped there. Yeah, Caston. Oh, Attrition getting shot out anyways. Too many Wasaga coming at him. So Looks like Wasaga's going to win this with at least two bodies alive. So here comes Jerry Greenpants to the Three middle. Three bodies alive. Look at that. So lots of time still left on the clock. Looks like Wasaga's going to score it. Uh, Derek says, uh, anyone see that player smash his head right there? I, I, I need a, uh, a, a catchphrase. A catchphrase. Yeah, for sure. So I'm, I'm listening for, uh, for suggestions. All right. Mina, let us know when you're ready. Hi, Todd. Yes, I'm ready now. Awesome. All right. So... Kay. Uh, right now, I've got Vicky with me. She is the captain of the Wolves, and I've got to tell you about this team. They started when I saw them from Blizzard Ball, a three-man team, two of them being female, and they did their best. They were trying so hard. They worked hard, and now they've actually got two camps this year. Wow. Yeah. And so, Vicky, what made you fall in love with paintball? What made you decide to play paintball as a hobby? It was fun, competitive. I like to be competitive, kick ass. And what have you guys done to um, improve your techniques and your strategies? Is it the field that you're playing at, or is it good coaching, or what is it that's been giving you guys that extra push this year? We hang out as a team, basically. We try to make it out to practices, but it like never happens. So would you say then being more like a family is very important? Basically a family. Awesome, thank you so much. Very good. Thanks, Mina. We'll check back in with you shortly. Perfect. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit that like and share button. Um, Theo in the live chat says, uh, it looks more like dark red on the stream. The sun is wreaking havoc on the lenses of our cameras, guys. So I apologize for that. Uh, it is super bright and coming right in on our cameras. So Wasaga in yellow on the left side of your screen, attrition in orange on the right. Yeah, so tie game, four and a half minutes to go. Oh, uh, Wasago player gets shot out of the backfield, but they make a good push up the middle. Yeah. So Jerry Greenpants on the right side of your screen, up in the center, trying to make it happen. I think it's Gary Greenpants. Gary Greenpants. I think so. I like it. Gary and Randy are friends. So Gary makes his move to the to the 50 yard line there. You can see him on your screen. The attrition players creeping up the Dorito side and. Looks like the uh, the Beach Boys have have decent position. That was quite a deep breath you had there. That's <laughs> true. Wow! So Green Pants all the way on their side of the field, making it happen. Oh, it gets picked up. You know, on, on a tie game, maybe that move is a little premature. You know, we didn't need to didn't need to force the issue. You know, it would definitely would have been a good move if you at least picked up a body. But when you go when you go to their side of the field, you want to make sure you're at least getting one. So three minutes left, and you know, attrition seems to be counter pushing here, taking all the spots now. They got two guys up the middle. You can see the left player on your screen. You know, up in the the 30 line, uh, 30 yard line Dorito, you could say. And Beach Boys are are stuck in the backfield, so they're gonna. They're going to spread it out here, and Attrition's going to come down. Here he comes. G's up the last guy and trades with him. That might be all the bodies here for the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys have been beached. And Attrition goes down and hits that buzzer then. 
So attrition's going to go up 3-2 with uh, with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left to go. So plenty of time for the Beach Boys to... Uh, cellular situation because of where we are. Uh, we're not hardwired into uh, of the local cable provider. Uh, so we're doing the best that we can. Um, all right, Brad, that's enough, sir. Looks good on my 75 inch. <laughs> oh, wow. Wish you guys would take pictures of how you're watching it and post it on Facebook there. I'd love to see it. Yeah, you should. Show these 75 inch TVs. Yeah. Pixar didn't happen. 75. I think it's 74. I think he's just stretching that last inch. I think it's 47. He's like. <laughs> All right, Gary Greenpants is at the 50 again. And Attrition coming up to the Dorito side 50. See, Attrition is now pushing those Doritos. Although Wasaga now is at the 50 brick on the Dorito side. Yeah, so this is going to be a, an important battle here that you see between the Dorito guy and the uh, cent center brick player. Whoever wins this battle between the two of them is going to gonna get a lot of real estate. So, uh, you know, this, this shot here is, uh, is pretty important for both guys. Yeah. Trevor says, uh, this is so cool. Totally want to try pro paintball someday, but need a better job. This is actually not pro paintball by pro paintball standards. We're seeing beginner teams this weekend all the way from D6 up to D3. So it's a good mix, even for people that are just starting in. Uh, yeah, starting in. You'll have to add, uh, add Todd on Facebook if you want insight on, uh, on pro paintball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and a minor penalty is thrown. So the attrition player is getting pulled. Very good. Uh, there, it looks good, guys. Nice to watch. Thank you. Ah, uh, Mr. Rose meant to say 75 inch as well. I, uh, I, I what, what do you think we're watching on our monitor in front of us? Would you say that's a 19 inch? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that'd be fair to say. Our, our viewing monitor. Do you go aggressive with, with a minute left and, and a tie game, you know, and, and go out there to, to win a quick point? Or, you know, do you, do you play not to lose and, you know, and, and spread your team across the back? <sighs> See, attrition, attrition's been walking into Wasaga's gunfire. So if I were attrition, I would slow slow my roll. Mm. A tie is better than a loss. For sure. And not saying that attrition's going to lose this, but Wasaga seems to have better control up the field, and I think that if they continue to play their game, they'll take the point. Right. Um, so if attrition backs off and slows it down, it slows it down a bit. I think they could potentially get this point. Just cut Wasaga and beat them down like they would to you. <laughs> well, as far as uh, in the moves, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, and, and Wasegas had, had good presence all game up the center. You know, they haven't really been pushing the snake too hard or anything like that, you know, but they have had guys in the center, you know, pr pretty much every point. So I, I do think that, uh, you know, that, that's a good uh, yeah. good job as well. Play to win is, is, is good, but you also have to know what you're up against. You know, playing to win doesn't mean that you can't take a, take a slower point. Logo Hutchison says, let's go Beach Boys. Robert Allen says, I've got it on a 54 inch. Looks good. Looks great at rather. But it's only 54, not yeah. 75. <laughs> Mediocre. Mediocre. Send, send pictures. Make sure to post pictures. Tag us in it. Yeah. yeah. So here it is. So pretty, uh, pretty defensive. Oh, we're saying right losing the a body right boys. off the break. Yeah, neither team really taking the middle off the break. I don't think either team took the snake off the break either. So I think you know, attrition's both. listening. They 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 listen to what I said. They're slowing it down. Yeah. Well, Wasaga wasn't listening to us. Oh, now they are. Now they are by by filling up the middle. That well, that same player is is filling the center every single time, and it's and it's working. And yeah. I think I think they need to be there. So Gary Greenpants is definitely now at the 50, and uh, the snake player. We have a new snake player for Wasaga. This is their secondary player. And uh, looks, we'll see how he does. Yeah, so here they are. But there's only 30 seconds left. And, you know, it doesn't seem like anything is really happening. Except Gary Greenpants goes all the way to their side. Yeah. So yep. Ga Gary Greenpants for Wasaga on the top right side of your screen. Don't have to worry about body counts. You just have to worry about that flag. So That's even if you have to throw away your body to take one or two with you. Yeah, and that, now's when you got to go. I mean, you know, Wasaga kind of has them against, against the wall, so to speak. And, you know, with 10 seconds left or with 15... You know, you, you got to go, and yep. you know th 